So I bring in all the wishes and greetings from uh, Speed Medical Institute on behalf of all the faculty members to Dr. Uh, Komal Gupta for scoring rank number one uh, in plastic surgery, MCH plastic surgery in session of NESS 2022. Best wishes and congratulations to you, Doctor. Thank you so much, sir. So, Doctor, we want to know a short, brief background of yourself from where you started and till mm -hmm. date. So, uh, I did my MBBS from Ames, New Delhi. And then I was, uh, currently I'm doing my MS in general surgery from Ames, New Delhi. Uh, currently, I'm final year uh, MS student. I am undergoing my exams right now. So, uh, then I decided to prepare for plastic surgery MCH. So, I uh, got the entrance this time. So, MBBS from Ames, New Delhi. MS, yes, Ames, New Delhi. Yes, sir. Plastic surgery is also Ames, New Delhi. Yes, sir. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. So, in one's career, UG, PG and superficiality, same institution. <laughs> yes, sir. Probably, no, God willing. And uh, plastic surgery department might be for a long course of your practice also. I don't know. I mean, uh, it's uh, awaited for the future. Mm -hmm. But we are extremely happy to have built up a career uh, in uh, Ames, New Delhi. And uh, can you tell us why plastic surgery? You are so passionate about doing it because most of the general surgery time will be exposed to gastro. How come you got into plastic? So when I joined surgery, uh, so I, when I was in class 10th, I had read an interview from a CTVS surgeon. So I got very fascinated about surgery at that time. Like for me, surgery meant, uh, for me being a doctor meant surgery. And for me, surgery meant CTVS. So I was very much fascinated by that. So when I started my uh, surgery, uh, general surgery uh, degree, so at that time, during my different postings, uh, especially in Ames, we have a very good trauma system. Our trauma center is integrated with our plastic surgery department. So at that time, I got uh, exposure to plastic surgery and it felt very different and very fascinating. Like till that point of time, the only limb surgery which I had seen was an amputation. And if I compare an amputation to a free flap, to an ALT flap, which plastic surgeons were doing on a limb, those two just felt like two extremes. So uh, my final decision was whether I want to pursue CTVS or plastic surgery. So ultimately I decided uh, after a lot of thought process that I want to continue with plastic surgery. So I think it was the fine skill and how delicately they perform the surgery, which really fascinated me. Excellent. And now once you decided to go ahead with the plastic surgery and how you uh, started your preparation, can you tell us how you allocate the time because you are in the final year surgery residency program and uh, how you are able to allocate time and uh, and take it through uh, rank number one in many years. So when I uh, finally decided that I am going to prepare for plastic surgery exam, I initially started with reading Raven Smith. But the issue which I faced as soon as I started that book was that I did not have any, have any theoretical background in plastic surgery. Like despite the postings and despite the ward rotations, uh, the theoretical background was actually lacking. Like we do not get exposed to plastic surgery a lot during MS. So that was an issue with me. So that is why I, I read around initial 10 chapters and then I realized it was taking too long for me. Like it was too time consuming and uh, I, I felt that I was not uh, able to uh, get out 100% of that book. So then I joined Speed Institute and I tried to finish all the videos. So my aim was just to watch all the videos, understand what is going on in the subject and like the basics of the subject first. And then I can go back and read whatever textbook or review book that I want to read. So that is what I did. I watched all the videos and then I went and read the manual, which is one of the uh, books which we follow. So I read that and then I read few uh, more, uh, the topics from few more places like Sebastian, Schwartz, a uh, few more review books. Uh, how are you preparing for general surgery also or are you preparing only for plastic surgery? Sir, uh, specifically I was for MCH entrance, I was preparing only based on the INISS pattern. I was not preparing on the NEAT SS pattern. So that is why I focused more on plastic surgery. Uh, in, in terms of solving MCQs and in-depth knowledge, I was focusing more on plastic surgery rather than general surgery part. Fantastic. Now, uh, I mean, how do you join Speed? I mean, who recommended you to uh, take I think uh, one of my friend had already, already had subscription for Speed. So uh, he told me about it and then I joined the uh, uh, app. Excellent. 
because uh, for the past five years, this is uh, rank number one for neat SSD, any SSD in plastic surgery, and overall all specialities, we have been continuing the legacy of uh, getting on to the board. And uh, we were also, because your rank came little one or two days late to us. Then, uh, then, I, then we suddenly uh, thought, okay, fine, what's happening? And finally, you got uh, uh, rank number one in plastic. And we felt very, very happy about it. Mm. And uh, what will be your message and uh, advice uh, to your juniors or colleagues who are aspiring for doing MCH plastic surgery? What should they do? So, uh, specifically for MCH plastic surgery, first they will have to decide whether they want to go for INIs or whether they want to go for NEET. Because both of, both of them have completely different patterns right now. So if they want to pursue INI, they need to read the subject in very much detail. And if they want to go via NEET route, then they need to know every single subject equally. So first they have to decide that and based on that, they can make a strategy. Okay. So were you able to give all the grand exams you have been given for any I mean, Did you give those? Uh, um, I gave uh, one or two mock tests, but I did not give all the grand tests. Okay. What, where are the content re relevant to the exam, given exam? The content loaded in the app for session one, session two, and plastic surgery. Where uh, uh, making uh, hmm. uh, relevance to the exam? Uh, I think content was very much relevant to the exam because out of those 80 questions, around 20 questions were from general surgery part. And those were very basic trauma questions or uh, basic pre-operative, post-operative management, like how will you give TPN and those type of questions. The majority chunk, which was in very much de detail, was the plastic surgery part. For which I think we need to have a very in-depth detail uh, and knowledge about the subject. So uh, this uh, in plastic surgery, uh, the predominant questions were from asked from which areas? I mean, uh, what do you feel that uh, the uh, people have in NESS, they have concentrated on plastic surgery? So uh, in plastic surgery, uh, usually hand surgery. Hand surgery is a very important uh, part in the entire plastic surgery thing. And it had a lot of questions. Then history construction had a uh, lot of questions. And uh, even the general chapters like uh, classification of flaps and uh, classification of uh, types of graft and uh, wound healing, fetal wound healing. So those type of questions. So there was a variety of uh, topics. Um, the topic which was lacking was aesthetic surgery. So other than aesthetic surgery, I think they had covered almost the entire uh, entire thing uh, of plastic surgery. So it is a uniform uh, kind of a uniform weightage pattern. given to all the important chapters. Okay, fine. How many questions were you able to attend? How, how much you attended the basic exam of the week? So, uh, I had attempted actually 77 questions. Oh. So, hmm. very good. Now, uh, were you able to attend uh, live classes which were conducted or I mean, only pre-recorded classes? How uh, you were able to engage yourself? Uh, sir, I actually did not attend live classes. I had all. Uh, I I was just using the uh, recorded classes which were there on the app because the way I was using the app was in between uh, whenever I was free in the hospital, I used to watch one video here and there. So that is why I could not sit down and watch the live uh, videos or the live lectures. So I was just trying to watch the videos wherever, whenever I could. So very good, very good, doctor. Very nice interacting with you and talking to you on this. And once again, I wish you uh, all the best and all the success for a great career as a plastic surgeon in years to come. Thank you, sir. And, uh, best wishes to you, to all your family members, friends and relatives, and all people around you have supported you uh, to make this possible. Best wishes to you. Thank you, sir.